This is going to be a very short supplementary video to my previous video where I was looking at returning from the Mimnus Monument which forces you to go into very close to a polar orbit and then how do you deal with the fact that the plane of that polar orbit is not to be along the line of Mimnus's direction around Kerb. And I looked at a couple of solutions but occurred to me at the time, and I'm sure it occurred to many of you, that the simplest solution is to launch into the correct plane anyway. In other words, when I launch from Kerbin, I want the plane of my orbit to be right along orbit or Mimis's direction in and around Kerbin. That did occur to me, but what didn't occur to me as I was recording that is a simple solution to figuring out exactly while I'm sitting here on the surface, what direction is that it's kind of very very hard to tell and i thought of maybe using the shadows or the location of the sun and where the shadows are when i'm in map view and trying to estimate what direction it is and then the simple solution occurred to me while i was doing the editing and that simple solution is just to select kerbin as a target so right click on kerbin scroll out a bit more right click on Kerbin set it as a target and that puts a target and an anti-target icon on the nav ball now because our ship is pointing kind of up <laughs> it's rather hard to see exactly where these two icons are but what you can do is you can just EVA a Kerbal drop your Kerbal down to the surface and with your Kerbal, repeat that setting target option. So again, right click on Kerbin, set that as a target. And there on the nav ball here is my anti-target icon. But what I want to find is the target icon. So I simply have to rotate my Kerbal around until I find it. There it is. <laughs> See if I can put the Kerbal right going more or less in the same line. So right there is my target icon. Uh, you can see it pretty much on the 315 degree heading. Notice that the heading up here completely doesn't match. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. But so my direction to Kerbin, right now my Kerbal's pretty much looking at where Kerbin is. Um, my direction to Kerbin is 315 degrees. And that means I need to launch 90 degrees either way now yeah 90 degrees either way from uh from Mimis. so if i go for instance 90 degrees towards the north that's going to be at about 45 degrees if i go 90 degrees the other way that's going to be about ah, if i can get my kerbal to turn there we go about 225 degrees so that's what i got to do i got to launch at a heading of either 45 degrees or 225 degrees so let's get the kerbal back into the capsule here because clearly we want to launch with our Kerbal inside. Now I think because I remember from last video when I went east I kind of went that way so I'm th I'm 45 degrees will be more or less along that direction as well. Uh, I'm worried about going 225 degrees might come a little close to this statue so I'm gonna choose 45 degrees for my direction one thing you want to do is you want to put this on orbit be careful now that I have a target actually there is a target option put it on orbit I'm gonna head 45 degrees and what I want to do is get my pr orbital prograde vector on 45 degrees so let's launch off we go and we'll make sure of course there we go, orbital direction there. We gotta make sure to clear our crater lip. But now our orbital direction's going the right way. I can retract that. Maybe reduce my throttle a little bit. There, let's pitch down. And I'm watching my apoapsis too. It's climbing very quick. All right, let's, okay, there we go. So our apoapsis hit, it's over 60 kilometers. Let's go take a look to see how we did. It's not terrible, right? I, I was more or less in the same. I can see I need to pull it a little bit this way. I can do that right now pretty cheaply. Um, and if you want, if you're unsure which way to go, remember you can just create a maneuver plan. And then right here, it's very clear I need to pull in an anti-normal direction. Let's get rid of our maneuver plan and simply put this on anti-normal and kind of pull it that way. And now, for very minimal fuel cost compared to what I was doing before, I am now right along the direction I need to be along. So, next, of course, is just simply circularizing. 
Alrighty. Alright, so now we can see here that our orbit is very much in the same plane, or the plane of our orbit, more properly, is in the same line as Mimus's direction around Kerbin. So, let's see, Kerbin's that way, so we need to eject ourselves again in a retrograde direction. Let's make our maneuver plan. Actually, yeah, it needs to be more down this way. <laughs> Sometimes get mixed up which way we're going around here. Go out this way. I know it's going to be about 150 meters per second. That's pretty close. Okay, I can see I have to adjust the timing here so that I'm going really more in the direction that I want to go. That's pretty close. I can look at my curb and PE. adjust this just without oh, come oh, I was pretty close to the right spot okay a little more prograde very close there there we go okay a little more and there with a minimal amount of fuss I got myself well into Kerbin's atmosphere uh, didn't have to do any kind of normal corrections while in orbit didn't have to do any time warping waiting for the orbits to line up properly done it lickety split anyway that's going to be it for this one very very short i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have success in returning from your polar orbits in your own game bye everybody